friends, uh, welcome to the lecture of the manufacturing process. Uh, today we will discuss about open drug pack. Actually, you can read for all my lecture available on the uh, government digital Vaswada YouTube channel. So we have started from the manufacturing process, then classification. Then again we have selected the casting process and then we have selected the pattern, pattern material and to this lecture we have discussed eight patterns okay so you can refer all the lectures available on the youtube channel so today we will discuss about the open drag patterns uh, basically it's a one form of the split pattern you can uh, check the lecture of the split pattern like uh, in single piece pattern what what we have we have a single piece which is used to make the cavity actually in the mode but in the rest of the pattern, uh, we have made two part from a single component, so it is very easy to remove, or we can say it is very easy to detach the pattern from the mold, and it also reduces the damage of the mold surface. So, uh, pop and drag the pattern is also one form of the split pattern. Each half of the pattern is fixed to a separate metal plate. So, it is fixed with the, with the pattern. It may be the metal or plate. Each half of the pattern is molded separately in the separate molding box by the independent molder or the modular. So, you can see here we have a different uh, for the single component, suppose you want to make the uh, one cylinder, but what, what we have done? We had uh, we made a two uh, part from the single component. Now, for the pattern or for the uh, preparation of the mold, the, both the pattern was uh, will be prepared uh, separately, independently. So one uh, you can say one uh, worker will prepare half part and another worker will prepare the half part. Then again. They, they, they will be assembled together. Okay. So finally you will get this simple piece, the cast of product. The two, uh, the two molds of each half of the pattern are finally assembled and the mold is ready for the pouring. So uh, I will show you in the video also even in the next slide we will uh, observe the image. So you will get the exact idea about the pop and drag so pop and drag patterns are used for producing the casting which as a whole cannot be conveniently handled by one model alone uh, if you read this line actually so this is this is basically used for the uh, big casting only okay because it is very much difficult to handle single piece pattern okay so we have divided into two different parts so we have half of it so you can see in this figure uh, we have two parts the upper part is known as the pop and lower part is known as the drain so you can see uh, we have a two part and the riser is attached to the pop and here runner is attached to the drag so uh, it is it, it can be easily removed from the main component so these are the two separate part this uh, we are using this part for the preparing of the mold separately actually independently then again we will assemble this to a mold and we will prepare the one uh, as a one unit after pouring molten matter in this cavity uh, we, we allow some time for the uh, solidification of the liquid then again we will remove the car, uh, sand which is surrounded by, uh, surrounded 
uh, to that casting product again you will get the final component so we will uh, i will show you the one uh, video okay so i i take you to the direct way will you see you will get the better idea so you can see that this pattern is prepared differently in for the independent process you can see it is pouring the sand and wrapping okay so we remove the separating pattern from the board again we are attempting with the part then pouring the molten metal and then the KGB again we are eliminating pan for the certification again we are removing box then we will get the final component and we have removed the non required material so this is your final product you can see this is your final product from the video you will get the idea about the pop and thread pattern it is very easy okay. like uh, in this figure you can see uh, we have four different first one is solid pattern actually uh, the same suppose you want to produce the component as shown in the A figure. Now what, what we are doing we are uh, dividing into two pieces that is the split pattern. Same thing but uh, it is converted into two pieces split pattern. Again we are attaching plate to upper and lower part so it is a mesh split pattern. And again third case can see it a match with pattern but we are preparing in a different uh, manner here we are attaching a riser I mean, uh, at the bottom we are uh, having the get getting system so uh, very big or heavy component that can be prepared with the he help of the cop and track pattern with the very high accuracy actually if you, if you compare all the things, suppose uh, you have a very large piece and uh, you, you, you are preparing that piece from single piece pattern. So it is very much difficult to handle that component because uh, suppose you have uh, prepared the mold and inch and everything. Now uh, you are trying to remove the pattern from the mold. Okay. What will happen? you require a very large lifting system so it may chance damage your uh, mold so in other case if you compare economically so from the B, C, D okay it required the more machining process so as you compare the economically single place uh, solid, solid pattern single place is very economical but it is not visible in each and every case so you should have uh, some other option for the uh, pattern making okay. so uh, as you can refer uh, last lecture and uh, this lecture so it is all about the pattern okay. so you can refer uh, these two lectures so you will get the idea about the pattern.